Hello and welcome to Inner Fetish. I'm your host, C.S. Pantera, and we're here with the over Oravetti Black by Oravetti Dinabird. Dinabird? Like, I. The, or it's the BD150? Like, I have no idea what the fuck I'm listening to. Anyway, uh, all I know is from what the packaging is, I haven't looked at the price yet because I haven't done that in a while. And this is a really, like, uniquely unique set. I like the way it sounds. It's got some quirks. We'll talk about it. But it's so weird. Like, first of all, what the fuck is an Oravetti? Or what does blech, blech mean? And why is it the Dynabird? And why is this the, qu the, the quote they put here? Black on black, again, because we're edgy. Basic line, exquisite quality kept. That isn't even Yoda broken. That's a different level of broken. Basic space line, space exquisite, space quality, space kept. Fuck do I know. I'm going to estimate the cost on these at two hundred and. Five dollars? No, it'd be two hundred even. Or it'll if these are all right. So I like them. Let's get that out of the way. I like them. I'm listening to them. They respond really well. I could tell from the back of the Dynabird box. They are a single 16 ohm, 9.2 millimeter beryllium coated dynamic driver. So it's always it's always ten. It's always a ten, a ten, a ten. The FD fifteens that I really fell in love with were a thirteen point eight dynamic. So anytime you have a different size than 10, either they just said, I don't know, we measured it wrong, or they're making a custom driver for themselves and not just using a parts bin one. Sennheiser, with their entire fucking line, uses a 7mm dynamic. And that either works in its favor or against it. 10 millimeters are pretty safe bet, even to the cheapest IEMs. They'll usually you have to do a real bad job tuning them. But having a 9.2 is interesting, because why? Why? Something about the way they're built, the way they're designed, is different enough that requires them to change the actual diameter of it to accommodate. And when I'm listening to these, which I am, and it's just volume down here, it's one very small part of me is like, Zeus, you got to remember the, 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 the treble, the upper mid-range. There's like this little, like, in the back of my head when I'm listening to certain songs like TJ and the Shondells isn't the smoothest, cleanest thing. So I think what that's doing is it's telling me something is wrong with the track. Because if I go to other tracks, Foo Fighters, My Hero, which is not a well-recorded song, look at that brick wall, doesn't bother me as much. But then it's like, all right, well, what's the overall? Because if I like an I am, I got to tell you why the fuck I like it. And I'm just blasting music and yelling probably during this video. There's a immediacy and like a, it feels like it's impatient. Like it wants to get the sound into your head right fucking now. Getting it now, 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 now. Why isn't it in your head yet? And I can respect that in an I am. It doesn't have the most bass or it's not exaggerating any real bass. Let me go to my bass test playlist. It can produce space. I would say that is neutral. This playlist is full of absolute bangers, and if it's making the headphones go brrrr, that's normal. It's when it does that and that it translates to your stomach and you throw up. That's when you know you have a bass CIM. Yeah, FK Twigs, like, if you listen to bassy music, this will translate it. That's all you got to concern yourself with. Hold it. Hold it. Hold it. Click. Okay, so there's like a um like a terror that comes with these. Let me check them out of my ears. They look cool as fuck. That's another reason I, I want to like these. Uh, and that's that's not a great reason like oh, who gives a shit about looks, Zeus? Well, I kind of do. These look like if Tin had actually upgraded the Tin T2s and just made the, the they kept making this part bigger to make the two pin fit like these are industrial as fuck looking i am i'm happy to to hold on to them so they've got the machining marks here it says black I, I still don't know if black is the 
It's Black by Oravetti. Is Oravetti the brand? Is Black the brand? Or Oravetti is the, the parent company? Why does it say shit? And it says Black by Oravetti here, and then it says Dynabird. So it does say what it is. It says the, all the brands that I could ever find. There's the O logo there. They're a nice fucking gunmetal, too. Like, these are nice. And this wire reminds me a lot of my Soft Ears Twilight wire. Maybe a little bit more Scorpius vinyl. That's two wires in a row. I got to mention Scorpius from Farscape. Just that, like that vinyl. like. But this one's not. Look how soft it is. You can tell when a wire is soft. I like a soft wire that kind of respects its straightness and goes back where it belongs. The uh, plug says Blech by Oravetti. Again, Blech by Oravetti sounds like the absolute worst, like, hair product ever. It's like, have you gotten the new Blech by Oravetti? It's great for my dandruff. Um, so I'm okay with the wire. I like the wire. The box is twice as thick as anything ever needs to be ever. Oh, another thing. Uh, actually, you know what? I do have to change tips because these are the tips that it came with by default. It came with a bag of tips and I actually took off the default tips and went, you know what? These have huge front holes. I wonder what would it be like if I swapped immediately on these black or Vetti fucking Dynabirds to the wide mouth bass of the audio world, which is the wide mouth um, velvet tips. So let's take off the wide mouth velvet tips for a second. Yeah, large on top. Um, Going. I'm actually no, I got this set out already. I'm going right to renders, which look at the beautiful patterning on that nozzle. Like it's these are really well built. I'm gonna, you know what? I'm upping my bid two fifty. We're gonna find these online for two hundred and fifty dollars. I shouldn't have closed that because I haven't looked yet. I haven't looked yet. We we're all taking bets. We're all she taking a bet. I'm taking a bet. Two fifty. I, I would call these worthwhile at 250 for the for the way they deliver sound, and it is in an unusually like it feels like a smaller dynamic where it'll be faster. So maybe it can't hit as hard, even though going from 10 to 9.2 is like 90, it's eight percent smaller, but it just feels faster, more energetic, and it looks wants to run. He's got these have good energy. These are a cup of coffee in the morning in audio form, and you're not going to be upset by the build. Let the tips expand. If you, if you don't know how this works, you always let the tips expand. And let's start this little journey. We'll go here. We'll go to the SMSL Raw MDA1. I'm tempted to put a balance cable on these and try them on other things because this is balanced only. This is not balanced only, but it's also going through that, so I have to warm it up. But that's got balanced out. Yeah, it's got like, there's like a juiciness to these. There's a heavy juice. That's right. Zeos is in full fucking form now with his heavy juice on the Dynabirds from Black by Orvaretti. It's like there's just someone stabbing westward is, is just laying into the guitar. Like this is what I'm listening to. And it sounds like his guitar is covered in like motor oil and it's just sloshing around in my brain. There you go, AI. You could train yourself with that fucking statement. Have we all started saying random things on the internet to train the AI imp improperly? That's what you should all be doing that. You should all go out right now, start a Twitter account or an X account, and just start saying nonsense so that the, the AI learns from you. If we all say nonsense, the AI will be terrible. Not that I don't want the AI to be good, but honestly, the more terrible the AI is, the more human it is. Yeah, there's like this fucking... There's a weight to every note. There's a speed to every note that I'm not used to hearing. All right, let's find out the price of these sons of bitches while I listen to Stabbing Westworld. Westward. Stabbing Westworld is what I would do after season three aired. Uh, I'm going to look them up on Amazon, even though I'm not sure if they're going to be here. I'm just going to type Oravetti. Oravetti, I-E-M. Dynabird. $99, buy them. They're way, they're nice. I, I could have, I could believe $99, but 
But I, I just, my whole shit got thrown off by that J Zagat Estrella. It was like, that's 300 bucks. Um, yeah, these are a hundred dollar buy. Five stars, one rating. Let's read the one rating. I don't usually read ratings. There are no ratings to read. It's just someone voted it five stars. Holy fuck. These are the screaming metalhead I am. Because Stabbing Westworld is screaming metalheads. And I'm not even lowering it. They are blasting right now. And I think my tips have... um. Oh. It's oh yeah, it's so immediate and fucking hard. It's like it's like I'm putting on regular headphones and someone put a fucking U U clamp on there, a C clamp, and just tightening that C clamp until the headphones are inside me. These will raise your blood pressure. These are raise your blood pressure IMs. I'm hope I'm selling them and not like scaring people away. For ninety nine dollars, they're a buy. They're a nine. I, I can't, they're, they're, they're enough of a departure from like a normal sound signature that I can't, can I not give them a 10 for that? That doesn't seem like a very Zeos thing to do. Oh, fuck, they're a 10. I, I, I just convinced myself I'm bad at this because I'm like, well, these aren't normal, so therefore they can't possibly be a 10. Fuck you. Fuck you, Zeos from 10 seconds ago. You're an idiot. These are weird and aggressive and with a with a good ceiling tip on like a decent wire and they look fucking great and you can't understand anything about them from the packaging and who the fuck makes them but they're 100 bucks and i'll take any 100 dollar thing that is just exciting and fun over any 300 dollar thing that's boring as shit this isn't even like a jamming song this is from freerun this is called too many grimoires Grim grimoires grimoires <laughs> this is this is the least like jamming out song ever and i'm jamming out that's that is not a song you like but these do that to them so yeah i'm i'm giving 10 out of, i'm i fuck there's nothing else i can't i have nothing bad to say I have only good things to say. I thought I had some like spiciness in the mid range, but that could have been the tips, and it was like two songs. And, but then it's like everything else is just I want to, I want to monitor my audio with these, and it will have it scream at me. And I think the build is just I'm I'm too in love with the build. I'm a machining freak, and if you machine the metal to be that nice and smooth, all right, I'm going back to listening. You guys can click the links in the description to buy these, or check my Patreon and subscribe star. Get the wallpapers and the wallpaper hoard. Every wallpaper I've ever used, you have to have them all. You got to get them all. There's a way to get like just that one because it's not Imgur. But you got to figure out how to work the code and the system, and then you could you could do the thing. And it says Afro Samurai. Bitch is gonna get you. Now I could do this. A bitch is gonna get you. All right, yeah, no, good, yeah. I guess if I assume a, an IM is two hundred dollars and it's half price, that's that's an extra bump at a point. And then you got the build, and then you got this weirdly aggressive sound. It's just it it feels like the speakers you're listening to have fallen on top of you, and you're so happy about that. 